another embassy comes under attack, another consequence of an anti-Islam video posted online. Protesters in Sudan gathered around Germany's mission after Friday prayers. And before long, they had scaled the walls, replaced the flag with their own, and torched the building. I was the first one to open this embassy. I got the keys to this embassy. Here they are. We burned it down. We burned it down. We tore it apart. We say no to the Americans who claim right of freedom of expression when they insult and attack our sacred beliefs, our religion and prophet. The ideals of democracy and freedom are lost when you attack the religious beliefs of other people. As his government's embassy burned, the German foreign minister was quick to react. I condemn this anti-Islamic hate video, but still this cannot be a justification for the outbreak of violence. This violence must stop immediately. Protesters also targeted the British embassy next door. Soon after, they were bussed to the outskirts of Khartoum, where the United States embassy is located. Riot police followed, firing tear gas to keep the crowds back. Two of my family members were walking near me, but the riot police vehicle crushed them and killed them. Their brains were everywhere. They took the dead bodies into the embassy. But despite the police presence, some people still managed to scale the compound. These protesters make up an important part of the government's own support base. The challenge it now faces is how to contain this anger being so widely felt across the region without losing that support. Harriet Martin, Al Jazeera, Khartoum.